What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going for a uh, walk today around the Damascus Gate area in East Jerusalem. This is what's called the uh, Southern Bus Station. I don't know the, what the official name is. The blue and white buses, which are informally called Arab buses. Those go to the south, to the best of my knowledge. So the bus I just took um, was coming from somewhere in the south. So those buses go to Beth Bethlehem Beit Jala. Then there's another bus station, um, which I will also go to, that is green and white. Those buses go, go to the places in the north, so like Ramallah, uh, Janine, anywhere north of Jerusalem. That's the my understanding of it anyway. Could be could be flawed, but there's two separate, they're colloquially known as Arab bus stations, and they're different bus companies than Egged, which is like the Jewish, the Jewish bus company. So this is one of the streets outside Damascus Gate, which I will go by too. I'm just opening my GPS because um, I don't always know the names of these streets. I call this Hanavi'im Street. And I also have a different uh, appellation in, in Arabic. And it goes up to about here before it kind of uh, goes into Musrara. You can see there's some vegetable. I'm going to do a turn around. There's a Klalit here. Klalit's one of the health funds. So this is a street which has a market on uh, Saturdays. Um, the good thing about this area for non-Jewish people living in the city is that when Jerusalem closes down, there's some stuff here open. So these Monit, should they share taxis, go to Tel Aviv. You can see the Dome of the Rock. In the distance, that's the uh, big golden structure just visible over the walls so you've got some like falafel places here you can buy coffee you can buy i used to buy spices here sometimes and uh, this isn't the market in progress it's just like what it looks like on a regular day today's thursday i'm taking a lunch break here friday is usually the day that this is busy it's yom al juma which is the holy day for muslims so on Friday you'll see lots and lots of uh, buses arriving in this area with people going into Damascus Gate to visit um, Al-Aqsa Mosque. Quite a number of tourists here today. And uh, just getting to the end of it. Let me open Google Maps, take a look at the names. Turning on my GPS. I wish there was a phone that did everything, had a gimbal built into it too. There probably is. For the meantime, I'm using two devices. Al Anbaya is what's given on Google Maps. Not sure that's actually uh, used much. Here you have some more shops. This is the um, Al Ayyad restaurant. Quite a well known place. You'll hear kind of the share taxis yelling out destinations like Il Khalil, which is uh, Hebron or Ramallah or Bethlehem, so it's common to take. You can also take Arab taxis, Arab taxi drivers, citizens of East Jerusalem, will drive you to Ramallah and back. They can go through a checkpoint called Hizma. So if you are able to go into Area A, so you're not Israeli citizens. There's also services here, share taxis leaving to um, Allenby Bridge, which is a crossing land border into Jordan. Palestinians can go through there, Israelis cannot. There's a few land crossings in Jordan. Some people selling bread. So this is uh, Sultan Suleiman Street. Here's a guy who was about to drive into me. Thankfully that didn't happen. We're now going towards uh, the Damascus Gate Plaza. 
So this is the, there's a pretty intense military presence here because as I mentioned, or as I wrote in the description, I should say there's been many attacks here over the years. It's kind of a flashpoint. But right now it's pretty chill. And that's the weird thing about Israel is, you know, people think this is like such a crazy conflict zone to live in. And it's not that it isn't. It's just that the conflict when it happens tends to be very localized both in time and in place. So right now you can see it's just people pretty much enjoying, relaxing in front of the Damascus Gate. This is called uh, Bab al Amud in Arabic. In Hebrew it's called Shar Shechem and English just Damascus Gate. This is a great big plaza. I think I'll come down in here in a bit. But for right now we'll just continue checking out some of the streets around here. So this is a shopping street that I think, if memory serves, will lead up to the northern bus station. I'll show people where that is. No, sorry, that's a little bit further up, but there's a few kind of shops and stuff on that street here. Nablus Road is what I'm getting on uh, Google Maps for this street ahead of me. I think that's correct. We'll see if we can see a street, a street sign or maybe even ask somebody. So you can see this is East Jerusalem, the temper, temperament of the street here. You can hear Arabic music playing. It's very different than West Jerusalem. Coffee here is really, really good. I might actually uh, pick some up. Some bread too. Probably uh, pick up a copyright strike now for some random. <laughs> Kind of music, it's all good. This YouTube channel is a monitor. I don't have really any plans to, I don't know, become like a big YouTuber. I'm just doing this um, because the thing about, here we go, Derek Shechem, so that means uh, Nablus Road. The thing about living in Jerusalem is my day-to-day -day existence is pretty, minus the, minus the fact that I've been self-employed for three years now, which is why I can do this to begin with. Um, it's pretty mundane. So it's kind of, easy to live here and just have like a really ordinary day-to-day -day life so doing this has actually been really good both from a exercise standpoint um, and from just like getting a little bit more adventurous so yeah this is um, Nablus Road so we'll see what we can find up here Deutschen Weiren vom Hellingenlande I'm not sure what that means in German I'm shooting these videos on the Femi, Femi Pam too. I usually put that in the description. Shoots well in daytime and stabilizes video nicely. Doesn't do very well in low light conditions at nighttime. So in East Jerusalem, there's some neighborhoods. Been into them on a couple of videos like Sheikh Jarrah. Uh, Sheikh Jarrah. Ah, sorry, here's the Northern bus station. So the Northern buses are the green and white buses. So if I wanted to take a bus to Ramallah, I forget the number of bus to Ramallah, but I can ask someone. Um, it would be from here. So this is a separate bus terminus, so it's obviously at the end of Nablus Road for anybody looking to do an excursion. There's also a car company, car rental company up here that will do rentals that are authorized to go into area A. So that's just a tip for anybody looking who, again, if Israeli citizens can't go into uh, area A but uh, some people some people can internationals and want, always want to find most Israeli rental companies will not so you can see this bus here has Kalandia written which is the checkpoint into uh, Ramallah so that's where that one is going I thought I think I remember I took it before I just got dropped off in uh, Mansara Square Master Square I forget the name this, anyway the main square in Ramallah so we'll go back here. Next place on the itinerary. So the street continues, Sultan, Sul Sultan Suleiman continues over and then goes on to uh, Salah ad -Din, which is like one of the main streets here in East Jerusalem. So we'll go on to that street next. Then maybe go into the uh, Muslim quarter, the old city. I did a video yesterday, a walk from Damascus Gate through to uh, the Little Western Wall. And I uh, did mention in that video that I think Izzyman's 
coffee is the best coffee in Jerusalem. That was visible there, just inside the old city. I'll point out where that is again. There's also Al Wad Street, which is on the other side. Anything else is interesting about this place, you'll see the Jordanian dinar used to an extent. It's not legal tender in Israel, of course. You'll see signs because a lot of uh, Jordanians, a lot of Palestinians effectively hold Jordanian citizenship. And there's a strong relationship between Palestinians and Jordanians, so you'll see a lot of signs for foreign currency. There you see, look, the sign here has ATM, dollar sign. British pound sign, euro sign, and at the bottom you see J. Dinar, that's the Jordanian dinar. Today is a uh, nice sunny day, which is why I decided to do this video today because uh, it's winter time in Israel now and it's been days of um, sun and then days of rain. There's an expression in Arabic, Yom uh, Asal Yom Basal, which means the day of uh, onions and a day of honey, I believe. So this is one of the days of honey, so I said I'd take advantage of it to go and do this video. These are uh, workers for the Jerusalem Municipality. I'm kind of walking in the middle of the street right now. Whatever. All right. So we're just coming up on the other side of the road here are the walls of the old city of Jerusalem and as I said we'll go to Damascus Gate shortly this is a really interesting exposed section of the wall so you see the buses here are almost entirely the blue and white buses this is actually another bus terminus I think some of them come into here so it's not that you won't see the Agid buses here in uh, this part of Jerusalem there are some lines typically they're not really used much by the Jewish so this is why East Jerusalem is such an interesting city because I think the best way to think about it is three cities this area East Jerusalem kind of functions as its own city you'll see for instance discount an Israeli bank and I mentioned this when I was in Ras al Amud the other day you'll see stuff like this that you wouldn't see in let's say Ramallah you wouldn't see it really helps them because it's fully under the autonomy of the Palestinian Authority, the PA. Whereas here it's kind of a mixture of, it's effectively Arabic, but you'll still see all the kind of Israeli post offices and etc. Golden Walls Hotel is here. You'll see a lot of border police here in this part of town. That's what that vehicle is. So these are uh, Jean Garmerie, I think, is the official. Uh, description so you'll see them um, you'll see them here I'm gonna keep uh, walking sort of on the road just to get around the pedestrians a lot of people out today these things are really big you'll see them in Ramallah as well these corn stands I'm not exactly sure why sweet shops are also really big they love their sweets and um, what else do you see a lot of here? So things are generally cheaper. So some people, historically, Israeli Jews would go into these areas to do stuff like shopping. Um, going around again. It's like a school group or something. I'm going to put the camera down slightly because I don't want to be freaking people out. But I'm... Uh, filming them intentionally. I do try in these videos to not film police because I don't want to create altercations. I don't think it's actually legal, but I just kind of do that anyway. You may have noticed. So let's see what else we have here. So we're coming now on to uh, Salah ad -Din Street. Walls of the old city are over there. Here's a fried chicken establishment, sorry, shawarma establishment. Okay, we're coming now on to uh, Salah Adin. So as you said, this is like the one of the shopping streets. And this will lead into Sheikh Jarrah. I 
I think the it's strawberry season now, so produce is very seasonal here. And uh, right now you're seeing strawberries from Gaza are being sold. This is the other rival in the Jerusalem Arab coffee scene is a place called Sanduka. You see these kind of old ladies selling um, za'atar, which is uh, wild thyme. It's already pretty popular. I probably don't need to explain what it is. Also mint, also parsley. So this is um, Salat Adin Street, which is uh, Saladin in, in English. And this goes on for a little bit, as he said, up till Sheikh Jarrah, which is a more actually affluent. I've been in the news a lot recently, but it's actually one of traditionally the more affluent neighborhoods of East Jerusalem. Um, and you'll see there a lot of, um, not embassies, but they're like consulates. I've talked about this before, it's not super interesting for most people, but the, Jerusalem has a number of consulates. And most of them are actually officially to the city of Jerusalem. It doesn't really kind of mean much because the city of Jerusalem, you know, clearly isn't a state. Um, so they're effectively kind of liaisons with the PA. You also find some, there are embassies in uh, Ramallah. And those ambassadors, usually the head of a mission gets a residence. So you'll find residences of heads of mission to the PA in Jerusalem and they tend to be in Sheikh Jarrah. I don't know why, I guess it's just kind of more affluent, nice. So I think those are guys and strawberries. Well, we're walking back now in the direction of the old city in Damascus Gate. I'm trying to think if there's a way to get across, you know, I'm just gonna cross the road, make this more varied, get some footage of the uh, walls of the old city too. So, coming back to my earlier point about Jerusalem being three cities, because this really, it's just a curious mixture. I mean, if you look at what's on the ground here, it's got its own bus network, it's got its own hospital network, and the rest is kind of Israel, but the people, the cultural identity of the people here is, you know, uh, Palestinians, and it's Arabic is the language. Here's another gate to the old city here, a little bit further down. I should probably put on a mask before going into one of these. Herod's Gate, according to Google, that was a little gate back there. There you go, you learn something every day. I think there's like seven or eight gates to the old city. One, it's one of them is sealed off. I was at Iron Gate yesterday. So just inside of Damascus Gate, there is a plaza which I sort of went up to for a second and then turned back and then it bifurcates into two streets. And what's on the inside is the Muslim quarter of the old city. So the old city is divided into quarters. This is a pretty nice garden here. The Jerusalem municipality does try to put on some events, let's say for the local Arab population. So around, you know, events like Eid al-Fitr, you'll see Eid Mubarak signs going up and stuff like that, but uh, I think the best thing to say, I, I don't, I don't want to say things I can't back up with statistics, so just say that the relationship between the city of Jerusalem, which is basically a Jewish municipality, and the population here is probably very tense. So it's, uh, I, think, I think that's uncontroversial to say that much anyway. Zidkiyahu's cave is here.
Bentley not open? So you'll see here coming where I'm approaching to there's this big observation point for the Israeli army there's one on both sides of the plaza to Damascus gate and also just before we go into the old city itself you'll see another observation post so these were installed um, the last couple of years there was some kind of controversy about it at the time and that's kind of the nature of Jerusalem is it's so <coughs> it's so kind of tense that all these fairly inconsequential things like someone puts up an observation tower attract international media, media coverage sometimes so here's anyway the back to Damascus gate I'm gonna be quiet because I really love the, the look of this plaza just for a couple of moments let the scenery speak for itself I'm gonna put on my mask now, so I'm gonna get a bit more, a little bit more muffled. Just think, whenever there's a lot of people, it's a good idea these days. This coming up I know from Google is Hamid Falafel. Good place to get falafel in the old city. Left here is Elwad Street where I was yesterday. We'll go right this time for variety.
Hey, Jaffer, sweets, one of the sweets establishments. <coughs> All right, I think that's enough in this direction. I'm going to do a 360. Change of plan, like me with I'll do I'll do that some other day. Kinda wanna just uh get some lunch at this point. So uh I'll go outside of the master's gate and uh wrap up the video for the day. We're going to come back here to a second to Damascus Gate. Or the deal city. Not sure what's going on over there. A lot of guys shouting, congregating around the guard booth. Probably a good idea to move in the other direction. But I'm saying this is a volatile territory. Alright, guys, any video? Thanks for watching.